Oh, guys, you do not want to mess with me at the moment on the pitch. Right, let me start again. One, two, three, and you're back in the room. Um, guys, what's going on? How are you doing? Ah, oh, shit, it's going on. Attempt number three at starting this video. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Louise21. Back again with another video for you guys. We smashed it this weekend in Nottingham. Five games in a row, we won every game. Like, that's never happened, or at least in a long time, it hasn't. And I haven't felt that well, that good on the pitch in a while. I haven't played that well. As a team, we haven't played that well in a while, and it felt so good. The only thing is, I didn't bring the GoPros, I forgot both GoPros. So, I've just got videos that I got on my phone of one or two of the goals. I might, might try and get some videos from other people. Um, but yeah, so I didn't vlog it, but it, it's just unbelievable. Like, what a crazy weekend from this bloody storm. We just, we caused a storm on the pitch. Like, five wins out of five, that's 50. Went from eighth to fourth in one weekend of fixtures. It's just unbelievable, guys. When you're playing like, like that well, like nothing can stop you. Um, I just thought of the uh, the Kobe uh, quote where he says, you know, uh, if you don't believe in yourself, no one will for you. You know, if you don't believe that you're good enough, then you're not, and nobody's gonna tell you, gonna, gonna tell you you're good enough or do that for you. You've got to make it happen, and we did as a team with our new signings, younger players uh, who joined in the summer. Um, we're getting used to things slowly. We're gelling as a team. Which is amazing, and you gotta take that for any, like in any situation in life, you know, uh, teamwork. You know what I'm saying? And like you gotta believe that you're the best player on the pitch to be to to be on that level. You gotta believe you are, and then put in the work to prove it. Because if you believe you're the best, then it's only gonna motivate you more to be the best. And that's what Kobe did, and it was a pursuit. Of, of winning and, and, and victory and trophies or whatever and just doing your best on the pitch and we proved it this weekend I mean part of football people talk about oh yes it's a hobby and this and that um, you know but it's still a serious game and uh, we, we, we got the best of all the teams we played against or maybe well maybe some of the games um, we had a bit of luck on our side but really it's, it's down to hard work and the team effort really. Everyone did well, everyone played well. Not one or two players, everyone. And that makes a huge difference. Everyone on the same page. So it was great to be back. 2020 starting off with a bang. Uh, banging in them goals, I got two to be honest. Should have scored more, uh, but I'll take two. Uh, if we keep playing like this, there's going to be a lot more goals. And a long time ago, my granddad made a deal with me that Every time I did score a goal, I'd get a fiver, get five pounds, and he's got to be poor by the end of this season, I'm telling you. That's ten quid from this weekend already. But, um, yeah, he's going to run out of money at some point. Like, all these tenors and fivers I'm getting, scoring, banging in these goals. If I had five quid for every time I got an assist, there'd be a lot more, a lot more cash in the bank. Um, but yeah, it's not just a hobby, it's not just a bit of fun. Uh, we take it seriously and we want to win. We don't want to just go there and just draw or lose or, 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 or well, uh, it's the taking part that counts. Because everything's better when you win. It feels better when you win and we have more fun when we win. Nobody enjoys losing. Even if it's a hobby or whether you're paid or not or it's your career or something you do on weekends. You don't want to lose. Like a Sunday football match, no one wants to lose, you know? A kickabout in the park. You want to win, you don't want to lose that. But, um, yeah, I know you say, like, win or lose, you, you got to enjoy it, but if you don't win, you're not really going to enjoy it. And this weekend, we, we proved it. As a team, I'm going to try and get pictures and videos. Um, if I haven't put them in this video already, at some point. But, yeah, 
want to do a full podcast and talk about the whole weekend. But that was that was that that was just a little a little taste, you know. Um, I wish I I vlogged it, um, but then again, I I wouldn't have been focused on the game so much. Maybe I don't know. But yeah. So guys, that's it for now. You're gonna hear more about Pouchet football. I'm gonna do some live streams at gaming this week. I have to do it really. Just like still getting over this weekend. Still can't come to terms with it. And uh, one of our coaches was saying it earlier on, on our Facebook, on our Facebook, on our WhatsApp group. He's like, you know, still can't believe you guys did that well. You know, for me as an older player, it's like I've still got it. And the younger players, of course, learning from us, but we learn from them too in some ways. Their different view of the game, their passion for the game. That with time, you might think, oh, it kind of kind of get a bit fed up, but no. I still love it as much as I did on day one, if not more. Um, you know, it's not like normal football where, like, once you hit a certain age, you can't play anymore. Um, you know, always going to be playing the sport. Some players retire, yeah, whatever, but nah, I just got to keep playing because it's, it's games like this you, you live for, really. It, it's those uh, those moments we made a lot of them. Smashed it. Sick. But yeah, guys, please leave a like, a comment, share, tell your friends, tell your friendly neighbourhood, catch your football player. Stay up, stay humble, and as always, take easy, fam. Peace.